Johnny suggested that uh, perhaps I, he, and the great Andy Harper could get together for children in need or some other worthwhile charity and dress up as Elvis and do our bit. Good morning, dear. Morning, morning. What's that? <laughs> That's my Elvis impression. What do you mean? What was that? Well, no one else can understand me. I've already sort of sorted it out, if you if you don't mind. I I'm going to be the leather Elvis from se this comeback special. <laughs> I'm so surprised. Yeah, uh, Johnny's going to be look good in leather. Johnny's going to be fat Elvis from the seventies. Yes, yeah, typecasting. Me? You're going to be Aloha Elvis. Oh, don't you? Oui, café. Just around a big pond we have here. <laughs> a big pond. Pond, yes, a big lake. I love the way you say that. A, a big pond. We've got ferry meadows. Yes, or the, I know the ferry meadows. I visited. Yes, it is similar to the ferry meadows. We twinned with you in 1957 here in Peterborough, yes. uh, and we have a Bourges Boulevard. Do you have an Avenue de Peterborough? No, no, no. M m more modestly, we have a Rue de Peterborough. What? <laughs> Rue. Où y a-t-il un café? P pardon. The, I know the ferry meadows. I've been getting away with this cod Irish accent for a very long time, so I think I'm going to I'm going to stick with it for the next while. Um, but I I do have to go slightly Manchester soon because I'm I'm joining Shameless, probably another Channel Four that show that's passed you by, sweetie. But uh, you're going to have to start tuning in. I'm rubbish, aren't I? Basically, is that what you you're saying? Kind of are. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I was so in love with the thought of talking to you, and then you turned out to be totally rubbish. Flint off is broken. Like a split awning, flint off is broken, it's just absurd. Pray for the shoulder, groin and the ankle, play for the money, so I have heard. The uh, new Pet Airways uh, is underway this morning. It's uh, it's taking cats and dogs right across America. Uh, we've been looking for uh, ideas for the in-flight movie this morning. And uh, should we hear from the head of uh, Pet Airways, Don Weasel? No. That's his name. So it's no, Don. Don on. This is Don Weasel. What we provide is, is a situation where you never have to worry about your pets. Once you drop them off, they're in good hands with the best people who know and love pets. <laughs> It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Yes, there's a pub in Cambridge that's got the trimmings up. Give it another plug. I'm not going to mention it. <laughs> uh, Christmas dinner's already. Santa's there. Yeah, the, the tree's up. Are they serving it already? Did no, you say they were serving no, 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 it? Taking bookings. Uh, but uh, we thought we'd have a Christmas breakfast on the breakfast show this morning. Thank you for all your donations. Much appreciated. Uh, sprouts came from Lee in March. He's got some in the freezer. Uh, Phyllis uh, in Stanground gave us a tablecloth with the 12 days of Christmas. Mm, lovely. Right? lovely. Uh, and Gary in Stanford has given some table mats with Santa on them to go on top of the tablecloth. Very nice. Well, we've got some Christmas crackers as well from Ellen in South Breton. Christmas cake from Catherine Dogstop. The trimmings from Justin. The stuffing from you. Uh, a mobile phone. A mobile phone from Was. I'm not doing anything to Justin, by the way. I could have phrased it better. <laughs> the sports cliche wait continues. Should you revert to cliche mode, you will hear this noise. Posh will be taking each game as it comes ahead of the new season. They play Aston Villa on Saturday in a match which could be a game of two halves. Posh will be looking to get into Martin O'Neill's side. Early doors, to be fair. <laughs> It'll be tough to overcome the Premier League side. But then again, there are no easy games in football. 